So here we are. My rig's almost finished. I've just completed my Sim Projects dash out of plexiglass. Uh, it turned out pretty good. Uh, it's a little rough at the moment, so I may recut another dash. I'm not quite happy with the finish on it and uh, my uh, cutting expertise on cutting the uh, rectangular cutouts for the digital displays but eh, right now it's okay and we're gonna show you we've got a uh, simulator PVC rig that I finished I uh, haven't glued it together yet or painted it I just want to make sure it uh, fits like a glove before I do my final glue together and paint just in case I need to modify uh, height or length or width but it seems pretty good so we'll probably do that this spring uh, we've got a G27 setup shifter steering wheel uh, gas pedal brake clutch uh, still waiting for my load cell for my brake pedal uh, hopefully that's here in uh, hopefully in a few weeks or so uh, 27 inch monitor haven't gone to three monitor setup yet but that's still on my wish list and uh, hopefully in a month or two we can uh, do that uh, we've got a butt kicker installed I've got my control uh, it's velcroed to my simulator and the butt kicker is mounted under the seat back at the bottom um, use plywood for my seat base uh, plywood for my desktop if you want to call it it's on a slight angle the center section for the steering wheel because I like the in your lap style racing rather than too high I made the shift indicator uh, center and high so it covers any dash display within the sim so that it blocks out any uh, center dash gauges on whatever car I'm driving I can uh, adjust the faceplate up and down uh, even though you can adjust that in the game in your seating position and your point of view uh, I've built it on a bit of a rake and I can adjust it uh, with these wing nuts and this plate at the back up or down depending on where what car I'm driving uh, I find that typically I don't have to adjust it much it's uh, it's adjustable in the game on your seating position your point of view and so on uh, there's quite the mass of wires behind my sim projects dash uh, it's a maxed out DLC 247 with three pin splitters there's not a whole lot of room for anything more on this maybe two or three LEDs that's about it but it's pretty maxed out the way it is I have the power adapter for the shift indicator uh, plugged in and turned on because within sim projects it told me my power requirements didn't require that I needed a power supply for the shift indicator but I found it too dim so I've uh, turned that on and plugged it in uh, it turned out pretty good uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and mount this camera on a tripod to show you some in-game uh, views of this dash 
and I'm also going to because of the angle I have the camera mounted I'm going to move the dash to the left so it simulates what I see when I'm sitting in my seat uh, when I'm driving the car uh, because of the angle uh, it's gonna, if I leave it where it is it's going to show it uh, off center to the steering wheel and gauges so I'm going to mount this and uh, then you get an idea of what I see through my eyes when I'm driving bear with me one sec So I'm going to slide the dash over a little bit because it's not hard mounted to the table. Uh, so it's in the center of the dash display. I don't want to see that. All I want to see is my dash that I've created. Bear with me one sec. And that's about it. Uh, I think we're going to adjust the view in the game a little bit. Just a titch. All right, uh, new track, so I'll probably crash, but bear with me, gang.
Looks like we got a temperature gauge set a little bit too low. And we got yellow lights on for our temperature gauge. So we'll have to adjust that in our software and raise the temperature settings in there. Uh, sorry for the sound cutout. Uh, I've got some video card issues. And the video, the... Oh, the sound every once in a while cuts out. Which is a pain in the butt. And if you're watching the video, you're going to see the LEDs almost pulsate, uh, which doesn't do this dash justice because where I'm sitting in real life, there is no pulsation to the lights. Uh, the flicker is because the LEDs uh, flash on and off so fast that the human eye can't pick it up but of course the video camera does so it really doesn't do the dash justice we will um, but I gotta give kudos to sim projects um, when I was trying to set up the lights uh, and the displays in my dash I thought I had some conflicts, but uh, Christiana walked me through all of it through emails and so on. Uh, probably the best uh, software support that I've ever had. Uh, I can't say enough about the guys at Sim Projects. Um, they walked me through uh, all the pins and so on to hook up the wiring. Um, which I'm not an electrician and it was a little bit daunting but uh, as I say they walked me through the whole thing uh, without their help I'd still be sitting here scratching my head or take a hammer to the whole thing so uh, don't be afraid to design your own dash the way you want um, You'll find Sim Projects is there to support you, and uh, they're an easy, good bunch to talk to. I don't have my butt kicker turned on for this video because the tripod is sitting on the seat base and you probably wouldn't be able to see anything from the vibration. But it does add some realism to the sim. I've had some people ask me why I don't have a speedometer hooked up to my display. And my thought was, I really don't care how fast I'm going because you're always trying to go as fast as you can anyway. It matters to me more what gear I'm in, when I shift, and rev scale because a lot of corners that you go into, you want to be in the right gear and the right rev scale uh, to keep your max speed. So 
So to me, a speedometer was kind of useless. I was going to mount a automotive tachometer to this gauge setup, but I find a rev scale is more helpful than a tachometer. Um, it's hard to talk and concentrate at the same time. Anyway, uh, water temperature gauge probably really doesn't, really isn't helpful unless uh, I'm in drafting situations, either in stock cars or in a pack of other cars, uh, road racing. I haven't seen how that affects the actual uh, sim and the gauge readout on how accurate it is, but uh, more time will tell. Uh, oil pressure indicator, uh, it's more bling than really anything else I suppose, but it adds to the sim. Probably not the fastest on this track. I've only done this a couple of times. And as I say, it's hard to talk and narrate what what I've done for my sim rig. gonna park it here in a second and I hope you enjoyed this um, it's been fun still got a few things to do but it's coming I'll try and keep you posted on addition and changes that we do to this baby to make it more like the real thing. Thanks for watching. And we just gotta figure out where the pit entrance is here. Thank you, Mr. Damn it.